Welcome to Silver and Bit Explorer. My name is Penny and this is Erin and Linda. This gentle exercise class will help you get stronger and have more energy. Daily tasks like lifting grocery bags, putting away dishes, and getting in and out of your chair will get easier as you become more fit. Your balance may improve and you may even start sleeping better at night. Before we start, make sure you have a band that challenges your muscles and allows you to complete about 10 repetitions while maintaining proper form. You will also need your chair and a bottle of water. For all of the exercises, Linda will be seated in the chair. I will be standing and Penny will be using the chair for light support. Make sure you listen to your body and pick the option where you feel challenged but you are stable, in control, and able to speak comfortably at all times. Feel free to take breaks to get water during this workout. Now get ready to experience how good it feels to get your body moving and get your heart pumping. You're ready to get started. Let's get started. Let's We're going to get started with a warm up. So if you're standing, Come to the side of your chair and put your feet directly underneath your hips, not too narrow and not too wide with your toes forward. Now we want to really work here. I want you to create an awareness here in the center of your body so you're not slouching. Even if you're in the chair like Linda, you're sitting nice and tall, shoulders right over the hips. And now give me a little slouch there, Linda, to show. See, now watch the difference as she sits up nice and tall. She's engaging those muscles right there. We're gonna start with some good breaths. So let me get myself centered. And the hands are down. Take a big giant breath in. Bring your arms up just as high as they'll go and breathe out. And try that again. Deep breath in. Really getting the body ready for our exercises. Exhale, take it down. Two more. Inhale. And exhale, and for one final time, we inhale deeply into those lungs and exhale take it down now fingertips down toward the floor lift your shoulders up to your ears round them and take them down so shoulder circles to the back now as we do this we want to open up in front of our chest and squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back yes it's a ball and socket joint so it means it moves in all sorts of directions it's good to keep those lubricated does that feel good I hope Feels this is wonderful. Feeling good now. Let's take one more and relax the shoulders down. I'm going to ask you to open up your palms and squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back and release. Let's try that again. Squeeze and release. Let's do two more of these. They feel so good. Try to make your the front of your body even a little wider. And one more time. Now we're going to go into one of my favorite moves. Put your hands on your hips and shift your hips from side to side. You're lifting up the opposite heel and have a little fun with it. Now, don't you stiffen up on me here. Get nice and loose in the center of that body while still maintaining right here that good posture, shoulders over the hips. Now put your palms out in front of you and we're going to start closing the fingers. Close and open. Close and open. Linda, how I are you feeling over there in the chair? chair. <laughs> Looking good. She's good. shifting her hips just like we are. Good. Erin, this yeah. motion is wonderful if you have arthritis. Absolutely. Yeah. It gives us a little more mobility. So if you, even if you want to exaggerate the motion a little more, go for it. Last two and last one. Now stabilize. Now, feet remaining underneath the hips. Take your outside foot and put it slightly in front of you. You'll notice Penny Grab a hold of the chair. It's great. You could stand freely. Now pick up your toes and turn them to the outside and in. You have to pick up your toe in order to move it. Just a few more. Three more. Two. And in. Now take it to the center. Now keeping it underneath the hips. Just draw it behind you. Lynn is going to turn toward us. So we want to really focus on the front of that hip. So you're on the toe in the back, and you're pressing your hips forward. Linda is doing exactly the same thing. She wants to keep one half of her tush on that absolutely chair. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you're feeling that in the front of the hips. All right, let's come back to center. And opposite foot, inside foot. Put it out in front of you. Good. Now we've got that good soft bend in the knee. Turn it out and turn it in. And out. 
And, and now you'll notice nothing else is moving but that foot, right? We're holding ourselves nice and strong. Let's do one more to the outside. Now take it to the center. And once again, draw it up and behind you. Remember, I can always know my chair is there. Linda's turning I'm away. I'm on my chair. But she is really pressing forward. You want to squeeze your tush underneath you to help. Even bend your knees just a little more if you want a little more. Take a big, giant breath in. And exhale. Good, let's do one more. This feels so good. Inhale. And exhale. Take yourself up and just reset. We're going to pick up our heart rate a little bit. Are we ready? Yeah. So ready. you'll notice again, Lynn is going to do it all from the chair. She's moving. We're all moving. That's the whole point. We're going to start with that outside leg. Hands on the hips. Give me march. Nice and easy. Let's just ease into it. Again, Penny's got a hold of that chair. Awesome. She might play with it a little bit. She might pick the hand up a bit. Try to see how much stability she can get. I think I might. Good job. Now, if you'd like to pump the arms, add an element there. Now, try to picture where you want to go. March with purpose. March with intention. And again, the shoulders are nice and relaxed. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to take our stance wide. So take it out. Still pumping the arms. Good. Stay with me. Let's take it back center. Narrow. Good. Now, what are we here to do? Are we here to get stronger? Take it wide. Just get those bodies moving. Your body will thank you. Your body wants to move. And take it into the center again. Oh, this is feeling so great. We're going to do good. one more Feels set. Good. All Absolutely. the way through. So take it out wide. How are you feeling? Check in with yourself every so often. And take it center for the last time. Now we're going into what I call a toe tap. So gently start to slow it down a bit. I'm going to put my hand on my chair and I'm going to put my weight onto my inside foot. Okay, it's slightly bent through the knee, standing up tall, hand on the hip. Start to slowly pick up that outside toe and just tap it to the front. Now take it in, take it diagonal out to the front and bring it back in, out to the side. Take it in. Now you get a break. Hold. Not really a break, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take it to the front again. T Take it in. Diagonal. And in. This is our last time slow. We're going to pick it up and take it in. But you hold right here. Check in. Take a breath. Penny's picking up her hand. Tempo. Take it forward. And in. Diagonal. And to the side. Bring it in. Hold. Nice job, Penny. Take it forward. Diagonal. I can get balance work over here. You are. You're holding yourself stable and hold. Linda, those of you in a chair, don't sell yourself short. This is a great way to get some mobility in those hips. Yes, let's do it one more time. Diagonal. And side. And hold. Excellent. Take yourself up. We're going to take a little trip. We're going to take a trip around our chair. So mindfully. Just walk around your chair. Always take your time in doing so, bending through the legs when you need to pick something up. Ready to march. Outside leg. Ready? Hands on the hips. March it out. March. I noticed right away Penny wants to pump her arms. You do what you want to do. You want your hands here? I'm feeling good. Awesome. <laughs> Lynn has got purpose. She knows where she's going. I think she's going to the beach. Somewhere warm. March it out <laughs> wide. Take it out wide. Yes. Good. We're going to take it back into the center right now. Center. Working through those hips. Try not to have any stiffness. And take it out wide. Out. Swing in the arms with control, of course. And take it into the center now. The neck is relaxed. Standing really nice and tall. Let's take it out wide. Out. Good. We're going to take it in the center and start to slow it down. We have our toe tap. So take it center. I'm coming over to my chair. You go to your chair if you need to. Inside leg. Put the weight there. Tap it out in front with the outside leg. Bring it in. Now because we know the move, diagonal, we're just going to do it slow one time. And out to the side. 
trying to reach a little farther each time. Let's take a tempo right here forward. Diagonal to the side. How far can you go? And hold. Take it forward. Diagonal to the side. And hold. Now this knee is bent. Remember? Oh, I'm going to challenge. I see Penny's challenging herself. How about you? Can you take your hands off that chair and balance? Try it. Even if you try it one time, it's a start. Good. And hold. Let's do it one more time. Ooh. And last time to the side. And take it in. Now shake it out. We are moving on. Penny is going to take it away. Penny. We're ready to take you through cardio and strength training exercises. It's a great time to grab a drink of water. If you're standing, join Aaron and I as we make our way over to the other side of the chair. Standing, turn towards your chair, bend your knees, and get your band and settle in. Linda's gonna take you through how to get your band safely if you're seated. My band is underneath my chair, so I need to just make sure I'm safe. Stepping to the side, always having one hand on my thigh to make sure I'm supported. My band is right underneath my chair. And I am ready to. We're all doing the same exercise. There's a seated and standing option. Take your band behind your back and underneath your arms. Put your hands on the handles and then gather a little bit of the band in your palms. So there's two little loops on the side. Now if you're standing with Aaron and I, put one foot forward and one foot back. And then if you're seated with Linda or standing, your midsection is nice and firm. So the front and the back, all those muscles are working so that you don't move from your upper thighs all the way up to your chest. You're nice and solid. Shoulders are down. We're just going to press our arms forward, bringing the palms together, and then come back so your hands are by your ribs. One more time slow, press forward, and then come back. We're gonna pick it up just a little bit. We're gonna press, hold, and back. So you're holding your band confidently, but make sure that you're not holding onto it too tight. We wanna keep a nice, fluid motion. Keeping that breath also nice and fluid, because sometimes as you're using these resistance bands, you want to hold your breath because you're focused, which is awesome, but you want to keep that breath flowing because when you hold your breath, it creates pressure. And we don't want to raise your blood pressure at all. Penny, I'm feeling this in my chest. Absolutely. My goodness. In front of my arms, too. In yeah. your arms. Yes, you should be feeling this in your chest and your shoulders and your arms, all your push muscles. One more. Nice. Take your tube, put it away. If you're standing, join Erin and I as we come around to the front of our chair. Now make sure before you sit down, that your tush will land in that chair. So toes straight ahead, slowly lower down. And we're meeting Linda, coming on down. We're ready to work your lower body. You can have your hands on your chair or you can join Erin as she puts her hands on her hips. We're gonna go slow at first, taking that right leg, we're gonna lift it up just a little bit, straighten it out, bring it in, and then lower it down. Let's try the left side, lift, straighten, Hold and lower down. You're welcome to stay there. We're gonna try to go a little faster. Lift, straighten, and lower down. Lift, straighten. Continuing, feeling all those muscles of the front of your upper leg working, and maybe even a little stretch in the back of that leg. Lift, straighten. Now check and make sure that you're keeping those hips nice and level. So you're showing me the bottom of your shoe. Two more. One more. This is a great time to take a rest. You can stay with Linda, she rests. Erin and I 
are going to stand up and then we're going to sit back down. So toes straight ahead, nice tall torso. Use the strength of your legs to stand all the way up to really good posture. Now very slowly, keep your chest up, knees with the toes, sit down. Let's do that again. Stand up. Sit down. I just can't make up my mind. Stand up. <laughs> Sit down. Okay, ready. we've got two I'm more. Ready. I think Linda's going to join us. You're chair with me and you're feeling it? Stand Try up. It. Sit down. Think of all the times during your day that you do this. Okay, one more. Powerful leg. Yes. Stand up. And sit down. Linda's going to stay in the chair for our cardio segment. Erin and I, uh, we've got to stand up one more time. <laughs> it's a go. bonus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to stand up. If you're standing, join us on the side of your chair. We've got that light hold. Outside leg, your right leg is going to start in a little march. Picking up those knees. And again, when you're ready, feet first. Add in the arms. So we're marching it out. We've been here before, so this time maybe pick up your feet a little more. And Linda, you can pump those arms a little more, right? I'm in. Just marching it out. Places to Kay. be, right? <laughs> yeah, so we're moving fast right now. We're going to slow down a bit, so let's take the hands back to your hips. Now slow this march down. So it's march. March. Stay right here. Watch me first. I'm going to make a V. So I come forward, forward, back. Join me. Forward, forward, back. Using the arms. Now you're going to notice Linda in the chair. I'm staying right here. She's just doing a slow march. It is the same thing. What we're focusing on here is a different speed. In life, you move in different speeds. Let's do two more. I like to get my hips involved. Last one. <laughs> Easy march. We're going to reset, reset. Now I want you to march with that inside leg, left leg, right here. Because we need to try that slow V on the other side. Slow it down. Let's go right into it. Slow V. Feeling that weight shift. Two more. Linda, you feel that speed right change? Here. Yep. Right, you have to be prepared. Sometimes we go slow, sometimes we go fast. Easy march. Bringing it down. We're going back to that strength training, that resistance training. Get your tube. We're going to meet back in our nice, stable strength training stance. This time, we just put our hands through the handles. Make the loops where you have some tension in your band where your hands are a little wider than shoulder width apart. So we don't want the band loose, we want a little bit of tension. Going slow, bring this up to your chest. Now with soft elbows, pull the band all the way to your chest, long arms. Come back to the front and then lower to the thighs. Okay, we're gonna pick that up a little bit. You're welcome to stay slow, here we go. So we lift. Pull, lower down. I want you really focusing on squeezing your shoulder blades together and then towards your bottom so your shoulders stay nice and relaxed. Top part of the back is working. It is. But it's a good thing. So like Aaron said, you're working your back and the back of your shoulders, which is incredible for your posture. You've got two more. This is your last one. <laughs> Beautiful. Place that band down. And we're going to, if you're standing, we're just going to walk around to the other side. Standing tall. Linda's joining us. So we're taking that left leg this time. Starting off with a little march. Let's go. So we talked about changing speeds in our daily life. 
we also move in different directions. So sometimes we move right here, forward and back, and sometimes side to side. So we're gonna try a side step. So take your hands on your hips. You may want to hold that chair or join Linda if it's your first time. So thinking, stepping side to side, clear pathway. Let's go ahead and try it. So we're stepping to the side. Good, your toes, knees, and hips are staying ahead. Feet first, when you're confident and you're comfortable, you can pump out those arms, natural, however they wanna move. Yes, and it's good even to do a combo. So maybe one day you wanna join Linda for a while and then come up with Aaron and I. We're gonna do a few more singles. Now, brain fitness here, because we're gonna have to think a little bit, and it's okay if you mess up, it's okay. I want you to think of two slow side steps. So we're gonna slow it down, and then we're gonna do two. Let's do it. So it's step and step. Now bring it back. Step and step. If you'd like, you can put a little bend in your knees. Taking that tush back. Really gets into the legs. It does. One more, please. And again, there's a lot of brain fitness because we have to think about what we're doing and we're changing a lot of things. Easy march. Okay, it's time to work those muscles again. Safely get your band. Now for Linda and for Aaron and I, we are gonna place this band completely underneath the middle of our feet. Linda's going to be placing it under both feet. Aaron and I are going to place it underneath our outside foot. So we want to make sure it's firmly right in the middle, not on the toes or the heels. And then we're going to come in, settle in, turn your palms to the back, and all you're going to do is press behind the body and then back in. So it's just a little press and then come back. Oh, I feel this one right oh, away. Yes. Absolutely. And what does it mean when we say we're feeling it? What it means is that our muscles are starting to get a little fatigued. And that's a good thing because if we're feeling fatigue, that means that we're getting stronger. You're getting stronger. I think it's your muscles saying, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they can also say thank you. <laughs> they have a funny way of saying it, but they're saying it. Two more. Oh. Last one, we're gonna stay right there. Now take your palms forward, lock your upper arms in. We're only moving from the elbow. Lift your hands up to your shoulders and then slowly lower down. Lifting up to the shoulders, lowering down. As you're doing this, let's review some basics. Your breath is fluid. You feel your muscles, you feel them working so you get stronger. It's controlled up, controlled down, and your midsection is strong and unmoving. Each time you exercise with us, you're working on getting fitter. Feeling better, two more. And having more energy, last one. Now slowly, pick up your foot and put that band away. We have one more round of cardio. Feet apart, we're gonna let loose have a little fun. Let's do that hip shift. So we're going side to side. Now you'll notice, Aaron and I are up. Aaron already got those arms in. <laughs> Linda did too. We're ready to party on this last round. Moving from the chair. <laughs> You've got some dance moves. You are free to show us. So we're pumping. I'm thinking of a dance move that's pretty <laughs> enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Show us, Penny. Mm -hmm. Let's try the swim. So we're gonna swim it out. And this is also good, it's, it's fun, it's <laughs> playful. 
but it's good for your shoulders. You're getting some really nice mobility through your shoulders. At the same time, we're right here, right? Erin and I are up, we're weight bearing, getting lots of good movement. Feeling that heart rate oh. creeping up a little mm. bit. Okay, I'm feeling the swim. Let's hitch a ride, hitchhiker back. Feel that weight shift. Every time you shift your weight, I want you to remember that that is such an important skill to help prevent falls. Pump it out. Settle in, let's reset. We're gonna do hands on the hip, what we call a heel dig. Let's start with that left foot, press those heels for an alternate. Toes are up. Push your arms forward. So with cardio, you're feeling that breath increase. I always want you able to talk. How are we doing? I'm great. Doing good. Great. I hope that you are doing incredible and that you have a gigantic smile on your face. <laughs> Working the muscles in the face. Bye yeah. <laughs> Two more. Hands on your hips. Give me a little march. Little march. We're going to do one more of the hip shifts. So let's settle in, reset, shift those hips side to side. So we took a swim. We did a hitchhiker. We're going to go back to the playground. Get your imaginary jump rope. And let's jump rope. So just little circles forward. Imagine yourself on the playground, enjoying yourself. Should feel really wonderful to move. Next time you're tired, try getting up and just doing a little movement. Many times you'll feel like, I move, I get energy. Oh, I yeah, feel works. better. I'm happier, and there's, you know, there's so many other benefits, but I like the happier part. <laughs> You'll never do regret doing it, right? <laughs> exactly. You're going to say, oh, why did I do that today? Why did I exercise? Because <laughs> I want to feel better. Exactly. Two more. Easy march. A few more marches. We're going to start bringing it back down. We're going to go into some leg circles. So maybe a light hold. Outside leg, your left leg, the toe is going to point forward. Now make a circle to the back and a circle to the front. Continue. And you're standing nice and tall. You may want to lift your hand up. Erin, you want to give that a try? It's a bit of a challenge. It is. Think of drawing a circle in the sand with your toes. We're going to do four more. Two more. And this is your last one. Shake it out. If you're standing, Aaron and I are going to boogie it around to the other side or you can just walk around. We're gonna firm it in, reset, hold on. Let's take that outside leg, toe points forward, so it's our right leg, circle to the back, and to the front. To the back, continuing. You may wanna make small circles or big circles. Pay attention to what feels good for your hip. Each side may feel a little different. That's very normal. Okay, we've got a couple more. Are you standing nice and tall? These are last two. Last one. 
and settle in. Lynn is gonna take us through some stretches that are gonna feel wonderful and help you increase your flexibility and mobility. Erin's gonna join Linda in the chair. All right, stretching is so important for keeping our joints and our muscles healthy and flexible, especially as we get older and we all want that. All right, I want you to take your right leg and just simply extend it out, sitting tall, and then slowly just slide your hand down and let it rest on your shin so you feel a really nice stretch down the back side of your leg. If you're not feeling that enough, you can even point your toes closer to your face. And then very carefully sit up tall. Lift that very same leg just an inch or two off the floor and rotate your ankle around. Big circles, drawing big circles with your toes. Wow, does that ever feel, feel good? good? Doesn't that feel good yeah. after all that work? <laughs> all right, same leg. I want you just to take it and move it to the side. And remember, just as we talked about at the beginning of class, keep half of your body on your chair. You extend the opposite leg behind you. Now sit up tall and straight, or if you're standing, stand tall and straight, tucking yourself forward until you feel a nice stretch on the front side of your hip. Get a little bonus stretch if you push your heel towards the floor. You'll feel that in your calf. Don't you feel that? All right. Coming back center. We're going to try all of that on the opposite side. So set your body up once again. Extend the opposite leg. And then very slowly, leading with your chest, just gently lean forward. Let your hand rest where it will on your shin. And then draw the toes carefully back bit towards your face. Lena, I like you. to hold on to the side of the chair for a little mm -hmm. more stability. Absolutely. I'm holding on to the middle and to my thigh. Right. Let's sit tall. And then I just want you to lift that same leg just an inch or two off the floor. You can hold on underneath. Make sure you're sitting tall. Big circles with your toes. That should feel so good. Now point and flex your foot. Just imagine pointing yourself pointing your toes towards us and towards yourself. All right, now we've got to get the front side of the hip. What happens on one side will happen on the other. Take it, turn your body. Now sit your body up tall. Make sure you're not slipping off. We don't want to lose anyone. Sit tall. Remember the bonus stretch? If you want to push your heel towards the floor, you'll feel that a little bit in your calf as well. All right, let's all come back to the center and reset our bodies. Posture is so important. Sitting on the front half of your chair, where you are with Aaron and I. Open your chest up with us. Take a big deep breath into your chest and then relax. Let's do that again. Big deep breath in. Open your chest, breathe deep into your chest, and then relax. Does that feel good? Let's do it again. Big deep breath in. Just made more space for your lungs to take a big, full, deep breath. And relax. Big shoulder roll with us towards your ears and down in towards your spine. Up towards your ears and down towards your spine. Let's take one final big deep breath together. Breathe in. And exhale. That was our workout. You can stay where you are, seated in your chair. We're just gonna come on up and say goodbye. Congratulations. You just completed the entire Silver and Fit Explorer class. What an accomplishment. Picture yourself stronger, with more mobility, being able to really, truly enjoy those activities you love the most. Visiting with friends, preparing meals, playing with your grandkids. Make a point to schedule your next workout with us soon, but do remember to take one day off in between to give your muscles time to rest and recover. We are so glad you joined us today. Remember, fitness truly is timeless. Bye-bye.